I ride in City to Shore because I have MS. Um, I was diagnosed in 2003. Um, shocking. Um, I was told by the doctor at that time that to quit my job, sell my house, because you're going to be in a wheelchair in a year. Um, you get those kind of words, you don't know what to do. Um, I reached out. Uh, I met someone who was involved with the MS Society, and she talked to me and told me, you know what, why don't you come out and volunteer to see what it's all about. And in 2004, I volunteered at the, uh, the City of Shore. Um, while I was volunteering, people were coming up registering, and two elderly ladies came up in high heels and dresses and handed me their money. And I looked at them, and I didn't know what they were doing. And I asked the girl next to me, I'm like, what are they doing? And she's like, they ride every year. And I said to myself, how can I be sitting here? I'm physically doing fine. How can I be sitting here collecting money for people actually riding for me? And I decided at that time that next year is going to be the first year and I'm going to ride as long as I physically can. Well, back in 2011, it was uh, Kevin and myself uh, organized the Pico Peddler team and we really had seven riders at that particular time. It was more or less a last minute effort to get a team together to ride in it. I had ridden in it previously and we were looking for a way to get some exercise and support the MS ride. And we organized the team. We didn't have jerseys that year. We weren't very organized. And in fact, it wasn't until after the ride that we realized that Lou had his own team uh, of family and friends that he was riding with, which then, of course, we work with Lou the following year to, to really pull together a lar much larger team. And Ed and I were talking how we could grow the team. And uh, we uh, it's, you know, said, hey, we need to get shirts. We need to do this. And that was the beginning of the, uh, the whole bike ride uh, and growing our team to where it is today. It's a great time. And I tell everyone, if you do it one time, I guarantee you'll do it every year. Well, looking back, we started with the seven riders. Yeah. Uh, and like I said, we hooked up with Lou and his team the following year, 2012, because we realized we really could benefit by having a larger team. I, I get a lot of phone calls from people that did ride, people that didn't ride, that now see the they're hearing other people that talk and they see the enjoyment a lot of people have had. So I'm getting calls from people that they want to join now. Yeah, so we were able to grow it to 42 uh, riders in 2012 and then up to 104 in 2013. And to be riding with my fellow co-workers, I gotta tell you, you can't imagine that feeling. It's like riding with a big family. I always say Pico is my family. We all went out to different team meetings or all hands meetings as we call them here at Pico. And um, Lou told his story, and then all of a sudden, the, the people just start signing up for the ride. So I think that was uh, communicating to them, letting them know that our team existed. In that. Well, I can tell you, Pico, we always set very aggressive goals for our business as well as the Pico Peddlers team. So we're looking, we have a stretch goal of 50% increase in uh, riders for next year, which would put us at about 150 riders. Um, and. For fundraising, we're looking to surpass $75,000 for 2014. To be fighting this fight and to know that I have the support of so many people um, is, is unbelievable. I think people look, would turn around when they saw Ed and I come in the hallway uh, because they were afraid <laughs> we would try to recruit them if right. they didn't want to be recruited, but that's okay. I'm so passionate about the MS mission. One, it affects me, but for the last almost 10 years, I've seen what this disease does to families, does to people, and I feel that I'm very lucky for the support I have from my family, and especially my coworkers and my employer, that I want to give back. Um, I know the disease is a very bad disease. Um, the future, you never know what it's going to bring, and my, you know, my feeling is I'm going to do everything I can to help myself, but help as many people as I can, because we can win this fight, and I'm going to win this fight.